In this problem, we're going to do a hypothesis test for a proportion. In a study of 775 randomly selected medical malpractice lawsuits, it was found that 475 of them were dropped or dismissed. Use a 0.05 significance level, that's our alpha, to test the claim that most lawsuits are dropped or dismissed. So P is the proportion of these lawsuits that are dropped or dismissed. So we want most of them to be dropped or dismissed. So that means we want more than 50% of them to be dropped or dismissed. So the correct choice for, part, for, the, for the first part is going to be B. See, H1 is, is usually your question. So P is the proportion of people, a proportion of lawsuits that are dropped or dismissed. You want it to be more than 50%. So that's, that's that one there. Good stuff. And then what is the test statistic? So to do this, we go to StatCrunch, and we go to Stat, Proportions, One Sample, With Summary. Again, it's Stat, Proportions, One Sample, With Summary. And then Successes is the 475. Four, it says 475 of them were dropped or dismissed. So Success is having um, this lawsuit that is dropped or dismissed. And the Observations is the total number. So in this case, it's 775. And this is a hypothesis test. And all we have to do is change the inequality to greater than. So P is the proportion of lawsuits that are dropped or dismissed. So we want that to be greater than 0.5. Click Compute. And then here's our test statistic, Z stat. So it's going to be Z equals 6.29, because it wants two decimals. So 6.29. Oh, got it wrong. Oh, I typed it in wrong. <laughs> 6.29, yay, okay. What is the p-value? So it says it's less than 0 0.0001. So it's pretty much zero, so I'm gonna put zero. So whenever you see that, you can just put zero. If it ever says less than 0 0.0001, just put zero. And now we have to decide what the conclusion of the test is. So our p-value is zero. So you compare your p-value to your alpha. If your p-value is smaller than your alpha, you reject. Whenever you reject HO, then there is enough evidence to say HA is correct. Whenever you fail to reject, there is not enough evidence to say HA is correct. So the p-value is zero. It's smaller than alpha, so we reject HO. So there is sufficient evidence to say that the proportion of lawsuits that are dropped is greater than 50%. So in other words, most of them are dropped or dismissed. So let's see, so it's going to be B or D. It's going to be this one here. Reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level alpha. And then there's another conclusion. Let's see. So we're saying that because we reject HO, the purport that most lawsuits are dropped or dismissed. So now we have to read through these choices and figure out which one it is. Let's see, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that most medical malpractice lawsuits are dropped or dismissed. Yep, that's it right there. So that was really easy. It's the first one. All right, that's it. Um, I hope that made sense.